I don't blend fruits because you'll quadruple the glycemic profile. I mean, the difference between a banana that you eat and a banana you put in the blender is night and day. What? Four times the rate of blood sugar increase. By putting a banana in a blender? Putting any fruit in a blender. Hi, this video is for Gary Brecker. If you aren't Gary, please help it reach him. See, Gary has made this claim before, and I corrected it. Since then, so have other people. But maybe he didn't see them. So let's try again. No, blending a banana does not quadruple the blood glucose response. It's been tested. And no, this is not the same with any fruit. It's also been tested with apples versus apple puree, guava and papaya as chunks versus puree, mango chunks versus blended mango, mixed fruits, whole or blended, apples and blackberries, whole or blended, raspberry or passion fruit with mango, whole or blended. And almost all the studies find no massive difference, sometimes even slightly lower with the blended fruit, because breaking the structure of the seeds could mitigate the glycemic response. Now, it would obviously make a difference if you compared eating a single banana to a milkshake made with a bunch of bananas, but comparing like for like, it just seems to make nearly fuck all difference. Now, most people do not eat enough fruits and vegetables, so unnecessarily scaring them away from blended fruit smoothies seems like a shame to me. So I am curious, will Gary correct himself because he cares about giving accurate information to you as his audience? Or will he keep doing the podcast circuit, just making shit up for clicks?